superheroes. They've been around for decades, dating back to around 1938, one of the most famous being Superman himself. Unfortunately, due to the way society was shaped in those days, it is no surprise that Wonder Woman's only weakness was to be tied up with her own lasso, or where the first African-American superhero to appear in mainstream American comics was Black Panther, making his debut in issue number 52 of Fantastic Four in 1966, about 28 years after Superman. And what a success that tale has been. The movie Black Panther has grossed over $600,000 domestically and over $1 million worldwide since its release. So, what's next? Um, so my name is Verdiana Brocha Dannenberg, or um, in Spanish, uh, Viridiana. My father is Mexican from the city of Guanajuato in Guanajuato State. The topic is superhero representation for Latin people which is extremely under addressed. My sister is a huge fan, for an example, of the Marvel series and the Marvel universe and everything that has to do with Marvel, essentially. She actually just recently sent me a Snapchat that said that they're filming something right now in Oxnard, which is a city where we're from. And I think that alone kind of speaks for the basis of what it's like to be not represented in a superhero universe. I think my biggest thing is that there are so many different kinds of superheroes, you know, they come from all sorts of different backgrounds and have all sorts of different abilities and superpowers and stuff that seems almost absurd to me that not a single one of them is like Latin and like we all know how absolutely spectacular it was for Black Panther to come out and what an impact it had on um, the community you know of, of anybody really who saw the movie and was able to identify with that really we just we need more of it it's almost like subtly devastating in a way to know that in my particular case that half of me isn't being represented and I can get away with it sometimes because I look particularly white and because no one ever assumes that I'm in any way Latin or Latina um, that that you know like I can get away with feeling represented in different ways Wonder Woman was like super great because like, yeah, woman power, all right. And like, that was fantastic. But also like, that's just part of who I am. And I do consider myself to be greatly Mexican. And, and that's really important, I think, both for me and my family that we're represented more in media because we exist. I'm going to name a few Latin superheroes. And I'm just gonna like ask if you've ever even heard of them because they are represented, but because of how obscure they are. Yeah, because of either how obscure they are or because it's people are scared that it won't sell, they don't end up making it into either movies or TV shows or any of the above. Miles Morales, Spider Man. Nope. Wind Dancer. It sounds cool, but I have no idea what that is. Her name is Sophia. I don't remember her last name. She is from the X-Men. She is able to control the air and power around her, and she is one of the most powerful children at Xavier's Academy. Firebird. Also sounds cool, but still have no idea who it is. She is from Marvel. She has energy manipulation, Firebird manifestation, immortality, and flight. And like to answer your question about like what to do about it, you know, keep doing the, am I allowed to curse? Keep doing the shit that they're doing with Black Panther, you know, like they say that like never drink stag stagnant water because that means all the bacteria has time to settle. And that's, I think, a great metaphor for this kind of instance because to move forward is always, always the best option. Thank you so much for being part of my interview today. 
Thank you for having me. All right.